One of the great things about Obsidian is how many ways it lets you sync your notes between devices. You can either choose no sync where you just have local markdown files on whatever device you're using. You can sync over some third party service. They're just markdown files. So whatever works, but iCloud is the most seamless way. And I've been using it for the past few months. It's been super reliable. And I wanted to show you how to get that set up today in Obsidian, which is out for mobile. It's a free app for iOS and Android, and you can get it for Mac, Windows, and Linux as well. So all these devices can sync easily. And if you're in Apple's ecosystem, this is how it works with iCloud. So I've got it pulled up on my iPad here. This is what you see on a fresh install. I'm just going to say create new vault. I'm going to do uh, one called, uh, let's see, uh, we'll do demo. Right, and then I want to store it in iCloud. And so I just check that box, I hit create, and there we go. Uh, so from here, I can create a new file. I'll call this my first file. Um, we'll go ahead and click into it and say, this is my first file. I hope this works great. Right, um, and then uh, we'll put some stars around this to bold it. I can preview it. This isn't a full demo of Obsidian or tutorial or anything, but uh, yeah, so I've got a file there called my first file. I can add a directory called assets. I'll make another one called archive. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to create one more file, uh, old thing, and then I'm gonna say this is an old file. Right, so none of this really matters, uh, but I can go ahead and drag old thing. Uh, actually, I actually have to do it with my finger right here. Uh, I can move this into the archive, right? And so now in my archive, I have a file. So basically I just set up a very basic um, file structure and created a few files in this directory. So now let's head over to the Mac to see how I get the setup there. Okay, and back on the Mac, uh, it's pretty darn simple. If I go to Finder actually, and I go to iCloud Drive Obsidian, I'll see that demo folder here, and this is going to have uh, the same things that I had uh, on the iPad. This is an old file that's in my archive. My first file is here. So this should be pretty straightforward. And what what will happen is when I first open Obsidian, it'll say open a folder as a vault, create a new vault, open vault help. Um, I want to open a folder that's already a vault. So I want to go to open. It'll actually default, I believe, to the Obsidian iCloud folder, but you can do this anywhere. So if you want to sync with Dropbox or OneDrive or something like that, you can do that. But uh, in my iCloud drive directory, I've got Obsidian and there's demo. So I just select the demo folder and there we go. And this is exactly the same as before. Um, and I can even do, uh, let me pull up the old file. So if I go into this old thing, uh, I'm going to just make a change. Uh, this was created on Tuesday. There we go. And then you can actually see in real time, it's syncing over to the iPad. These are totally synced. Uh, so this is how quick the sync happens. So pretty darn impressive um, how that works. If I want to delete that, I can go ahead and delete it and then it updates on the iPad right away. So this is really nice, really seamless, and it's super simple to set up. Um, that's really it. <laughs> um, uh, of course, these are markdown files, so you can do whatever you'd like with them. Uh, again, I can go to my iCloud drive, Obsidian, and then this folder I can open in something like Nova. Uh, so if I pull this over to Nova, then I've got all my files here and I can just change them because they're just markdown, right? And so if I go into my archive, old thing, I can do, yes, it is, save it. And when I quit Nova, that's fine. It's also updated here. It's also updated on my iPad. Uh, and I've got a typo in there. So let me go ahead and fix the typo. There we go. And then this syncs over as well. So it all works incredibly quick, incredibly seamlessly, has been working great. I've been using Obsidian for months <laughs> between devices and it's just worked really well for me. So hopefully this works well for you as well.